Hey everybody! We're here today in our kitchen making a fabulous keto crust pizza. Mamma mia! We're gonna start with some cream cheese in the bowl and we're gonna mix the rest of these ingredients with it. In no particular order, Kristen, just mm -hmm. dump it all in. Order. No particular order. We got sausage. Italian sausage. Italian sausage. Remove the paper, that's an important yeah. step. Put that away. More sausage. There's your protein. So this is going to have much lower carbs than the pizza because there is not regular flour, but there is, what is it, almond flour? Almond flour, coconut flour, uh, what else we got? Mo mozzarella cheese and Parmesan cheese. So there's actually sausage and cheese in the crust. And what I have found is a lot of times keto pizza often has a very, very thin crust. This actually ends up with a very thick, puffy, delicious crust. We love it. So we put everything together first. This is gonna be the dough. You know, you, you might not know this about me, Kristen, but I once had a part-time job as a pizza chef. I needed the dough. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna need the dough. The next step is we get the dough onto the cooking sheets. And what I'm doing right now is I'm taking a sheet of parchment paper, I'm just kind of pressing it down, smoothing it out so that it's just the right thickness, a nice pizza crust, and it doesn't stick to the paper, and it's just make a handy way of doing it. So I get it in my hands all in there. So we've got all the pizza crusts ready to go into the oven. The oven is set at 375. You put these in for 12 minutes. Once they bake for a little bit, then you put the toppings on and put them back in the oven. But you know, this reminds me of a time I tried to make a Hawaiian pizza. I ended up burning it. I should have used Aloha temperature. <laughs> so funny. The next step in the process is we're going to add the pizza sauce and our toppings. We've got different kinds of cheese and pepperoni, mushroom. Kristen has uh, onions and peppers for one of them, so you can choose your own toppings. Are there any of them ready for cheese? I have a joke about this process, but I don't think I'm gonna tell it. I'm shocked that he has a joke. <laughs> it's just too cheesy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the toppings are on the pizza, and we're ready to put them in the oven. Bake it for about 22 more minutes. 22 more minutes. And then eat. We'll post the recipe below if you'd like a slice of the action. And uh, I just thought about this, but uh, some people don't like pizza jokes. They're lactose intolerant. Ha ha ha. The pizzas are out of the oven now. They have toppings, we have mushroom, pepperoni, and some with uh, peppers and onions. You can put any kind of toppings you want on it. And for a delicious beginning to your meal, we have this Italian sub salad. Lots oh. of good, good uh, protein and low carbs.